All right, we're at Sturgis High School visiting with their head football coach, Chris Galetsky. Chris, thanks for taking time to talk about some football. Yeah, no problem. Uh, got my mask on today. Uh, you know, it helps, uh, helps the spread of germs and keeps flies out of your mouth. So we're all, all set and ready to go. Well, you know, for head coaches, it's, it's important to, uh, you know, when you're, when you're on Black Hills TV, uh, that's those flies don't go in your mouth. Yeah, that can be very unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Say, by the way, uh, your son uh, plays... Uh, plays football too, flag football. Yeah, he just had his first game yesterday, so uh, he's pretty amped up and excited, you know, he's just learning the game and having fun, so, you know, they play right across the road over here, and our community center does a great job, and um, it was fun to see those boys run around and start learning the game of football. Yeah, it's great for them to learn the, learn the game at a young age. Does he get some pointers from his dad? Every now and then he does, yeah. certainly. <laughs> Say, uh, congratulations on, uh, on a great game versus Douglas High School, uh, especially the defense again. Yeah, defense stepped up again and, and played tough for us, and we had some big plays on offense. Um, a couple of our seniors that really, you know, we need to step up in the second half of the season. Cade Nelson with a big uh, screen pass there for an 85-yard touchdown, and then Santa Graham came through with a big play also. So that was nice to see. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a tight game, you know, just a low scoring type of game. And so those two plays probably were the difference of the game. I mean, you know, we had four turnovers on defense. Our defense stepped up, a couple uh, goal line stands there late in the game. Um, Douglas certainly, um, you know, it was a close game down to the end, and it really came down to, like, the, to the last play. So I was proud of our boys considering the adversity and some of the boys that we had out, that we had stepped up and played together and uh, finished all four quarters. The 14-6 halftime score was the final score. Yeah, um, yeah, shout out for the defense in the second half. Um, you know, it wasn't that Douglas wasn't marching the football, you know. Um, our defense uh, bent, but it bent, but it didn't break, so that was nice to see and um, came up big there, especially in that um, late fourth quarter goal line stand there. Yep, got a home game coming up this Friday. Yeah, we got Huron. Um, Huron's one of, the, one of the top teams in the um, double A's right now. I mean, they, they're tough and, um, you know, they're real physical and they get off the football and they're coached very well. And so it's going to be a huge challenge for us. You know, we went down there and played Brookings and when Brookings played here on it was a close game and Brookings really handled it, gave it to us pretty well. So we got we to gotta come out and play better and uh, show that we belong to play with some of these teams. Any changes in the offense uh, coming up for this Friday? Um, well, we get our quarterbacks back, um, Tanner Ortlieb and uh, Owen Cass. We get them back, and uh, they're going to probably mix in a little bit with um, some of the stuff we did do last week with um, Caden uh, Phillips, him being such a threat running the ball. So that's good to, good to have those two back. Yeah. All right, well, good luck Friday. Thank you.